Hey there YouTube, it's Nick with Feeding Fitness and today is All You Can Eat Wednesday. I'm counting down the days till the cut starts. Um, weeks are numbered, uh, probably three or four more weeks of bulking left and that's it man. All You Can Eat Wednesday will change dramatically when we switch to the cutting diet. But enough about that, still on the bulk, still doing the same breakfast. So. <laughs> Light and fit, we'll do the Boston cream pie and the fruit and nut crisps. We will do those again. Um, that's that. Don't worry, I will change it up for the rest of the meals, but um, I like to stick with the go-to breakfast. Okay, guys, just a little snack here. Um, going to have a peanut butter uh, Quest bar, and if you've seen the last couple videos, I've gone back to the actual Quest bars rather than the ones I make myself. I'm going to talk about that for a minute here. <clears throat> Um, Vita Fiber is the key ingredient to make your own Quest Bars. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I have a video on um, how to make your own Quest Bars, but um, Vita Fiber is the key ingredient. I will link the video in the description. You used to be able to buy Vita Fiber directly from the company who makes it, and you could get five kilograms of Vita Fiber for $50 and $10 shipping. Well, recently I kept hearing Vita Fiber is going to ship through Amazon. It's going to ship through Amazon. And I'm thinking, great, now I'm going to get five kilos for $50 free two day shipping. No, <laughs> that's not what they did. Um, they jacked the price up. Uh, it is free two day shipping if you have Prime, which is great because I do, but um, the price has gone up. It's either, um, I think, $22 for 1.2 kilograms or a hundred dollars for a six pack of the, um, or for a five pack of the 1.2 kilograms. I think that's right. Either way, it is significantly more expensive. It goes from being around $12 per kilo shipped to around almost $17 per kilo shipped. That is a huge difference. Now, it is probably still cheaper to make your own Quest Bars than to go out and buy them, even if you get them on sale. But that's not taking into consideration the amount of work and how much time it takes for you to make your own. If you generally, genuinely enjoy making your own, you don't eat these every day, it's not too much of a hassle to make a batch of 10 and that'll last you a month. Well, in my house, 10 lasts you five days because I'm eating one, Katie's eating one, and you know, we're making these all the time. Well, she's making them all the time. And it takes a little bit of time to make them in big batches. Um, so to make a month's worth, it's gonna take a few hours of her time. Um, so then when you do that kind of math, and you know, if you spend four hours a month making protein bars, um, she can pick up a four hour shift, or I can pick up a four hour shift at work, and we can make much more money than we're saving making our own Quest Bars. So um, I'm not gonna say I'll never make my own again. There are still some other advantages, like creating flavors that don't exist that you can't just buy. Or if Quest Bars aren't on sale, then it kinda makes it, maybe it is better to make your own, but if you look hard enough, you can usually find them on sale somewhere. So for the time being, gonna be doing the actual Quest Bars. Um, yeah, really disappointed that they couldn't just keep the price the same when they moved to Amazon, um, but they didn't. So um, still a good product still a good you know still could definitely try and make your own again if you're not going through these a bar a day or you have two people in your household going through a bar a day um, it's not as big of a concern uh, but if, if you really eat these a lot um, you know I don't know is the amount of time worth the amount of savings that's gonna be a personal choice for you right now we'd rather spend a little bit extra money and not spend so much time so um, all that just so I can eat my quest bar but I know some of you guys were asking about that um, so yeah I was really excited about Vita Fiber coming to Amazon not so much now all right, guys, Katie did some recipe wizardry here. Um, new dish. Uh, if it's good, and I have a feeling it's going to be awesome, we'll do a separate recipe video on it. But this is like a chicken dish. The chicken is coated in breadcrumbs and everything bagel seasoning. Um, and then on the inside, it's stuffed with cream cheese, ricotta cheese, and some mozzarella cheese. And all of it's like macro friendly. So um, I think there's, yeah, there's definitely spinach in there too. So I'm gonna eat this. And like I said, if it's good, we will just do a separate video on how to make this. 
All right, guys, that chicken recipe is next level good. Expect a video um, soon. Hopefully, uh, by the, you know, before or next All You Can Eat Wednesday. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already so you know when that video comes out. Um, so, ice cream time. Um, today I'm going to go with some Pierre's Smooth Churn. I think it's their answer to the Edie's Slow Churn. Um, same deal, lower calorie ice cream. Um, it's a peanut butter cup flavor. There actually aren't peanut butter cups in it. So while I find that to be slightly deceiving, um, it's actually still a really good um, ice cream. Macros, uh, 120 calories, 6 fat. Uh, 15 carbs and 4 protein. This has a little less carbs and a little more fat, so if um, you're always coming in over on your carbs and under on your fat, this might be a better choice than the Edie's. The Edie's usually only has like 2 grams of fat, but it's got more carbs, so um, if it fits your macros. Okay guys, on to the next step here. Um, gonna get some fats in, a little bit more protein. Corn dogs. Oh yes, love the corn dogs. This is the honey crunchy double dipped for double gains. There it is. Got an apple. And then we'll do some cheddar magic pops. On the corn dog, one dog is 190 calories, 9 fat, 18 carb, and 7 protein. All right, guys, um, for whatever reason, it was like warm last week, but it snowed this week, so it's cold. I'm gonna have some soup. I've got some Progresso Light. This is the chicken and cheese enchilada flavor. It's actually not that bad. I'd never had it. Um, I just had a taste of it. Um, pretty macro-friendly. Uh, 90 calories a serving, so 180 feet the whole thing. Um, four fat, 12 carb, four protein. So I'll get eight grams of protein out of the, uh, out of the whole exchange, so that's fine. And then just a couple of cheese sticks, so I'm going to go ahead and have it. Yeah, so that soup was pretty good. I'm going to hit my protein macros now, uh, finish it out, do some Kamut Puffs. I haven't had Kamut in a while, so I decided I would have that. There's three servings of Kamut Puffs. We'll do 20 grams of the Cellucor S'mores. Um, I will cut up a banana in there and a serving of almond milk. So I'll hit up this, then probably some snacks, and then I'll be all done. All right, guys, gonna wrap things up here. Uh, a couple of new things. Um, Miss Sinster is back, and she's got two different um, types of cookies. King cookies at Sam's Club, so they're like a lot more expensive. I think these came from Target, um, but oh, they're so good. These are um, brownie batter. They're amazing, and these are even better. Um, the cake batter, they're deliciously crunchy. Um, the macros of both of these are, are relatively the same, and they're pretty similar to the original ones. 140 calories, 6 fat, 20 carb, 1 protein. Um, do weigh these ones out. Uh, the serving size of 5 cookies is kind of give or take-ish on these ones. So um, I weigh them. Plus that way if they break like these did, um, you know you're getting the serving size. And then to go along with that, some Greek on the go um, pretzel bites. You've seen these before. Uh, clearance, it means they're going to disappear. But that's it. We'll check out the macros. Um, let's see, we had 67 calories to spare, and that's fine. Macros, 87 fat, greater than 70, so it's good. 466 carbs, 83 fiber, that's fine. And then 218 protein. So all in all, pretty good day. So that's all for today. So if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Questions or comments can go down below or over at Facebook at facebook.com up slash feeding fitness. Again, subscribe if you haven't yet. Um, recipe video for that chicken will be coming soon. Um, and then you'll just be notified of all the other videos that are coming out. Um, and that'll be it. So see you guys next time.